it going? I'm Brian. We're doing a quick tutorial today on how to build a vacuform table. So the first thing you do is you go out and you get yourself one of these plastic card tables with the folding legs that you can buy in pretty much any store. Then the second step is you take a hole saw and you cut a hole here. It's somewhere near the middle. Doesn't have to be exact. Which will that which you can then put this vacuum cleaner attachment into. The vacuum cleaner attachment sticks out the back here and this is where you're going to attach your vacuum cleaner hose. So for a vacuum, all we need is any kind of shop vacuum with the tube that will fit into the adapter that we just put into the card table. Now you may need help with this step because you have to make these frames that you can hold your plastic in because the plastic goes in here and you actually have to kind of clamp it in place here as you're heating it in the oven. The frame also has to fit inside your oven and sit on the little side ledges that hold the oven racks up. Okay, so if you're going to be doing a lot of heating of plastic and a lot of vacuum farming, don't use your own home oven because after a while, weird plastic vapors and things will accumulate in your oven. If you're only doing an occasional piece, one or two pieces every six months or a year, then you can go ahead and use your own kitchen oven. But like I said, if you're gonna do a lot of it, get a, get a specific oven for it. Don't use the oven you're gonna cook food in. Then the last thing you need is you need to get some of this pegboard and you have to build a frame to, hold, to set the pegboard in because this is what your piece is actually gonna sit on. The vacuum is gonna suck the air through here and you need these holes to actually pull the plastic down over the piece. So here's our card table, and we're bringing in our vacuum and plugging it into the adapter underneath. So you want to set your box over the vacuum cleaner hole, and then you're going to want to take this down. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to like reduce the amount of air loss you'll get from here because you want it totally sucking through these holes here. good chance that this thing's going to fall apart. Cause it's, yeah, because it's pretty trash. No, 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 no. I want this side up because I want my thing to be smooth. You want it to be smooth? Yes, I do. Okay, well, I'm right, right, I'm right now trying to figure out how to line up the damn hole. So, there we go. That's how the hole's lined up. Now, if you do larger projects, you're going to want to get a, make a larger box. We have a larger box, we just don't have it here. So, this particular thing may be a little bit large for this particular box. We normally use smaller things on this, so it'll be an adventure. All right, so now we have our plastic set inside our frame and we're gonna put it in the oven and let it sit there and warm up. The temperature on the oven is at 300 <laughs> degrees. All right, so you can set the temperature at the oven to whatever you like. We figured out that 300 degrees is actually a pretty good temperature because it warms the plastic up fairly quickly, but not so much that you're burning things. Always make sure you're doing this in a well-ventilated area. Don't forget, when you're getting ready to take your frame out of the oven, put on some heavy-duty heat-seeking, no, heat-reflecting, heat-saving gloves. <laughs> Heat-seeking gloves. Heat-repellent gloves. Safety. Be safe. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not wearing Don't gloves. try this at home, kid. Well, how are you supposed to learn how to do it if you don't try it at home? I don't know. But don't suggest that. Yeah. I think that this mold is going to fall apart. It's an old one. I've used it multiple times but it's starting to crack from, from sitting out in the garage in the heat. So, this might be its last hurrah. Hurrah. Hurrah, hopefully it works. So, so what he's checking for is you can see the plastic starting to dip in the middle. Once it gets a little dippy, that's when you know that it's warm enough 
to vacuum form. You want to have a wet rag handy because you'll use this to quick cool the plastic to help it hold its shape while you're vacuuming it down. Okay, everybody at your stations. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it dippy? Mm, can you put your hand bit. on it and touch it? It's getting there. I would give it another minute. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can start smelling it. Yeah. Yeah. You know you're cooking with plastic when you can smell it. Ugh. Smells terrible. Make sure you got your doors and windows open. Well, we've got the dog, the dog guys, we know exactly. Okay. You've got a bird thing. No, it's just smaller, it's like a bird in the cage. Checking. Alright. Oh, we don't copyright anything. Okay, ready to go. Turn it on. Inside that baby powder, we use that as a mold release. The first thing you do is you actually think about what the fuck you want to say. <laughs> then you think about it for a while. And then as you say it, you say other things which fuck you up even further. <laughs> <laughs>